Hey Pisces, how you doing? I just thought I'd come in with a bonus read. I felt really called. The energy feels really good uh, and I felt called. There's a message here for you. So let's uh, let's see what you need to, to know, shall we? Let's go Pisces. If you haven't met, I'm Jamie. This is Soulvine Guidance. If you are new here, welcome to all our regular viewers and subscribers. Appreciate you. Get connected by liking and subscribing. It helps us stay more connected and allows other people to know that we're here as well. And I love hanging out with you guys. All right, Pisces. So first energy is coming up. We have got obstacles and challenges, accelerated motion. Let's see what else spirit wants you to know for the major energies for our Pisces sun, moon, rising energies. We've got deception and envy. Emotional loss. This is so interesting. Uh, this is interesting energy because there's two parts here when, when I connect into this. I feel like there's something here that you acknowledge that hasn't been working. Then something makes progress. Then I don't know if there's concern that someone's not doing the right thing. And then you're feeling some sense of loss again. I'm trying to figure out if you're learning something here or if it's just a state of energy that this situation is in. Super interesting, Pisces. Super interesting. I want to see what more this is because accelerated motion is kind of like the, um, the eight of wands, right? Obstacles and challenges like the five of wands. Their purple energy, this one is uh, Seven of Swords and then the Five of Cups. What else do we need to know? Okay, we've got Seven of Wands, Two of Cups. So there's something you believe in here regarding a connection, it seems, Pisces. That you just really want to move to a place of like, this is just working, this is coming together. I don't know if this is a choice in a certain direction. What else do we need to know here, Spirit? Thank you for our Pisces. Sun, moon, and rising. I'm just going to reshuffle these. What else do we need to know? Thank you, spirit. So we've got the seven of pentacles, the knight of wands, and the seven of swords. Like there's someone's energy you're just not trusting here. Maybe you're trying to believe in it, but there's been something here that you're concerned about a situation or the way someone's actually behaving. Maybe you're feeling you don't have all the information. You don't feel someone's being upfront here. You're questioning where someone's putting their energy or where they're investing their time. Oh, this is a lot, Pisces. This is a lot. Let's see what the Seven of Wands has for us. What do we need to know about the Seven of Wands energy? Thank you, Spirit. So queen of pentacles. Okay. So what else do we need to know here with the queen of pentacles? Let's see what the seven of wands wants us to know with this queen of pentacles energy. Okay. We've got a lot. Three of pentacles, two of swords, death energy. It's like making a decision of what you're investing in, what you're going towards, wanting to rebuild, wanting to kind of lead the way that you lead the way. Uh, and really get connected in who you are and in yourself. But I see that whatever decision or choice you're making or where you've been sitting to make a choice has kind of come to an end here. There's some movement that's happening that's moving forward here. All right, let's uh, two of cups. What do we need to know about the two of cups energy? What, what else do we need to know? Thank you. So we've got the knight of swords, the ace of swords, Sorry, Ace of Swords, Knight of Swords, and Five of Swords. Lots of Swords energy. So perhaps two. Uh, this is an interesting one because you've got the Two of Cups. So again, I feel like you're making a choice here. Making a choice to move forward, to, to rebuild. Um, and I feel like something's moving forward here regarding a connection because there's something here that has some depth and meaning. 
and it's like you want this fresh start. You Maybe there's a new way that you're communicating an approach towards something and then something comes through quite swiftly or someone's showing, showing up that for some reason is in conflict here. This is... Yeah, just something seems to be in conflict here, Pisces. Share more. I mean, I like that we're going from the five, five of swords, though, to the six of swords. I mean, these could be conversations that you're having about the conflict where someone's been left defeated regarding a situation and you guys just want to move forward from this. What do we need to know about the six of swords energy? Sometimes this deck, I just, I like it, but I feel like it doesn't matter how many times I use this deck. There's just this part that the cards get stuck and annoys me. Um, Six of Swords. What do we need to know with the Six of Swords energy? They're such nice cards, but they're... Six of Swords. We've got the Eight of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. So there is something, you know, some thoughts, discussions around just moving on here, going in a new direction. We can see this. But also wanting to hold on to it because there's some belief here that this is something deeper, that this isn't meant to be this connection or this path wherever that you're going. So I can see that there's energy just really wanting to hold on to this. Share more on the Six of Pentacles. Sorry, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, we can really see here, guys, that, I mean, I think it's pretty clear what's happening here. Um, so seven of pentacles, someone's invested here. It's interesting. We've got seven, seven, seven. Um, so this is your energy here, queen of cups. We've got the lover's energy, king of swords and the judgment. So again, it's some choice about a connection, but a connection that's believed in. I feel that you're trying to make the right choices. This is also could be some form of ten temptation here. But again, some form of investment with the... I don't know if this is you and an air energy. Pisces. Making a decision here. But I don't know, is there some truth or some information on where someone has actually been investing? I don't know, I feel like some discussion's going to happen here and something's going to be shared. What else do we need to know of this Knight of Wands energy? I feel someone's coming in here quite confidently. I don't know who, I mean who this is because I feel this is a different energy in the way someone's showing up but kind of saying I don't know if it's going to be as you're expecting or maybe the way that they're showing up is a little confusing and maybe that's why you're feeling a bit of deceptive energy you're trying to figure out how this person is showing up how they're communicating or the way that they're communicating maybe you can't figure it out because I feel with this energy you kind of like oh we're going to a new beginning we can work things out but then there's this sense of like not feeling like someone's being real with you or like maybe they're confused and the way something's showing up just is, is feeling a bit funny for you. What else do we need to know about this temperance energy? See, so you're believing that there is a potential here to make like, to make something work. We can see the investment here, but maybe at some point in time, someone wasn't honest with you and you're trying to figure out or navigate this, right? And getting to some truths or some understanding about something. But I can see, and I think there is in question about the way someone is showing up here and you're trying to figure this out because whatever you think you can, you believe you can fix this. Like you've made a decision to kind of invest here. I think that's what you feel like someone's showing up as or you have belief that this is going to work, like figure itself out. But then there's also this energy at like of not being sure. <laughs> Seven of swords. We've got the star energy, the magician and the nine of cups. So what is with this seven of swords? Because you're believing in this, whatever this is. But I think you're confused too. Just whatever, it, whatever you're receiving back, I think you're getting kind of, mixed messages is what I feel is happening. And I feel that you guys aren't 
in conflict anymore about something that's happened. I think you're learning how to maybe handle things or communicate better because you know that when there's no conflict and you can kind of remove the conflict that things become more balanced, things become more harmonized. And I think you also know that you can bring more happiness in by not not fighting. So I feel like you're figuring this out, but there's still like, even if that's been taken away, there's still question here of where this is going or the legitimacy of the way someone's showing up because there is some hurt here around some form of, truth deception someone not being honest or real about a situation or tr really trying to understand what someone's motives are here I feel is what is coming on through it seems pretty clear-cut but I think behind the scenes it's not and I think you're kind of feeling a bit just what is real because I can see here there is a, a significant connection I can see here that someone wants to work on something that there is, there is something you believe in, even though there's been conflict, someone believes here that you can make this work. You can build on it. Um, especially if you get the support you need, you can build on this and really, you know, stay in that presence of energy of the queen of pentacles that we have under here. But there's something else going on, which is, I think just confusing for you right now. Pisces. Let's see what else we need to know. Share more on The Seven of Wands energy. What do we need to know? Share more on what we need to know. Thank you. See? There's some belief here that you can have a connected, trustworthy relationship. You believe in that. But I think trust has been broken at some point. Something has been broken. But you truly believe in something here. That this is your happy place. This is where you're meant to be, whether it's with a person or a situation, some form of dynamic here you really, really believe in. So I think you're going into indecision and ending that indecision to move forward with something because you feel that this is your person or where you're meant to be. When it comes to the um, two of cups, you've got something that's moving forward but it's also like really it's you really need to consider this and we've got the same energy here so I feel like there is some form of communication that's happening with this two of cups um maybe some serious conversations and maybe you weren't expecting these conversations to happen right now um and I feel like there's just some form of, of disappointment happening I don't know. I just, I feel like you're kind of being let down with what you hear and something's moving forward. Like you've got the night of air and the accelerated motion. So something's going to be, I feel shifting quite quickly, but I, I think you're not going to, I think you're going to be a bit uncomfortable about this. Seven, six of swords. What do we need to know here? Think spirit. What do we need to know here? Whoa. Queen of air, the lovers again the dreamer, which is the full energy and the moon. <clears throat> yeah. You're getting real about a situation here. I think you're having some serious conversations, getting real about a, a conversation about a connection and really figuring out where you're going. But at the same time, I feel like there's a, a leap of faith that you're, you potentially are taking, or maybe you're not expecting it. And that's what's showing up here because something's happening behind the scenes here, but it also seems like you're moving to just a bit more of an easier path forward. And I feel like you're making changes here. Um, Pisces figuring out that with this eight of cups energy, like you're kind of figuring out that part that doesn't keep that, that part or that piece of the emotional puzzle that's been missing that has stopped you from getting to this nine of cups energy. I think you're figuring it out. You're figuring out what connects, what doesn't connect, what's supportive, what's not supportive, but someone's taking a chance here. I feel on a connection and maybe you're not expecting it, or maybe you have some hope that that's where you're going because you, someone wants to hold on or maybe both of you are holding on or whatever the situation is, you're holding on to it because you believe that, that you guys are meant to be doing this together, but maybe there's part of you that can't see through the conflict. Like how do you get past all this conflict? Let's have a look at this seven of, thank you. 
the seven of pentacles we've got the chariot energy i just feel like you're getting through something here there's a lot of fast moving energy so you're definitely moving through something let's get one more on the charity and chariot energy like i feel see this is really good energy here we've got the nine of earth so there's nine of pentacles I don't know if this is you choosing to refocus on something here, one on yourself, one on a new opportunity that's going to potentially present itself, but there's something here that's happening, something here that's moving forward for you, Pisces, whatever this is, because it's good energy, strong energy, like you're stepping up a gear. Knight of Wands, we've got the three of water. Interesting, because I, when I sometimes think of the Knight of Wands, I do think someone, you know, who's a bit more playful, a bit more energy. And that's and then we've got the Three of Water. What do we need to know about the Three of Water energy? Thank you, Spirit. Ten of Fire. I feel here, whatever you are worrying about, it's asking you not to worry about it. And I know that, that's not easy to hear, but I feel like you are putting so much pressure on something here, Pisces, or looking at a situation that maybe you shouldn't be looking at it like that. This deceptive energy could just be also you, the way that you're thinking about a situation, because I'm seeing a lot of good energy here and the potential for something to really make a true go. And I, like I said, there's a part of here of recognizing what is missing from this emotional quotient here or this emotional connection that someone is not seeing the way that they're also engaging might be missing for someone else, making them content. But I can see here that it's someone's desire and wants to heal it and wants to figure this out. But someone here is missing that part or not seeing that part what do we need to know about this seven of wands energy a uh, seven of sorry seven of swords is what i meant spirit you know what i'm talking about here so we've got the six of earth and the page of water with this uh seven of swords so this is something balancing out there's something balancing out here I also feel too amongst this Pisces, whatever's happening, you're getting some opportunity presenting itself like um, with work in your work life. There's some opportunity that I feel is going to present itself. And then you've got the page of water. So I feel because you've also got the nine of pentacles here, I feel with nine of earth, nine of pentacles, you got the 10 of pentacles. There's something showing up here. That's also going to position you in a very strong way and kind of deviate all your energy going into whatever this is. So that's a good thing because I feel you're redirecting your energy in a really good way. That's really supportive here. You're recognizing that something's missing for you too. I think you're focusing more on yourself, potentially how you're feeling. If you're, if you're not, I think you're being asked to really focus on how you're feeling about a situation. And remember, no matter what's going on, that you are also valid here and that you are also the prize. So if you're worried you're losing someone or losing a situation or a situation isn't working out and you're figure, you know you're trying to figure out how to hold on to it that's not where you should be putting your energy your energy should be on yourself because if you believe in this by trying to hold on to it it's resistant energy and i feel the more that you kind of shift the energy on kind of trusting in the process something's moving forward there is going to be some conversation something's happening here i think both of you really believe in this opportunity or connection that you're in i think you're trying to navigate how, can you actually make this work something is balancing out something is getting smoother here so there is a potential for something to really come together but again you got to lighten up the energy because there's too much seriousness and I feel that's causing a burden. And if you're kind of tiptoeing around, wondering what to say, wanting to have the right conversation, that's not the way to go in. You've got to come in in a place where you're feeling confident, that you're feeling like in your power, doing your thing. That's what's attractive energy, not like, uh, like, yeah, it, it's just more stepping into your power and be remembering your, your light, remembering your sexy, remembering just 
focusing on you and what makes you feel alive and exuding that. And I think you're going to figure this part out. And maybe this Knight of Wands is a bit of your energy. You're being asked to kind of have fun with, right? Have fun with yourself and, and just lighten it up is what I feel because I seeing something is balancing out and someone is also coming in with this page of water to say, Hey, what's going on? But I think part of you might be just in a, sometimes in a bit of a funny mindset. Maybe you start stressing out a bit, wondering what someone's intentions are and maybe creating a little bit of self-fulfilling uh, situations that aren't potentially happening. And that could be a little bit of something that's happening and not supporting you. Let's get some final messages for you, Pisces. Some final messages for Pisces. What do we need to know here? We have got emotions are running high, super moon. I feel that's more past energy. Your hard work is paying off. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm proud of you, Pisces, because what I feel, yeah, and work through your fears. And this is what I feel is happening. This emotions are running high. I feel that's past energy. I don't think that's present. And that's probably what could have caused a lot of the challenges or the situation that's at hand and where someone made a decision. Maybe someone made a decision to end something because you guys couldn't get on the same page, but now something's shifting. I don't know. Either or all there around it. But yeah, I just, I feel like something's figuring itself out and coming back together. But like anything, there's, you know, free will, how you show up is going to be a huge thing, how that person show up, remembering your worth, a part of this. But I'm definitely feeling these emotions running high is past energy. Your hard work is paying off is because I feel Pisces, you're figuring out things or looking at things in a new way that actually helps the situation rather than causes more conflict. You're figuring something out. And this is really, really cool because part of that you're gaining more power within yourself and recognizing to work through your fears, which I feel is acknowledging that no matter what happens, you know that you're supported. No, no matter what happens, even though sometimes it's hard and you have a lot of feelings behind it, that there's a trust in the process energy. With this new moon and Scorpio, Scorpio, I think there's this part of you know when to kind of put things to an end that you need to put to an end, but at the same time, you know how to ignite it and light it up because Scorpio is also a very, you know, the, the Scorpios can be quite sexy and attractive and magnetic, right? But they also know too that they can call that in, but they also know when something needs to be done, it needs to be done. And I think there's something here that you're figuring out around a situation, like I said, to work through it. Let's get you a, an angel message here, guys. A final message on what you need to know final message for our Pisces. What? They all want to, there's a lot of angel messages for you friends. A lot of angel messages. Let me know how you're feeling in the comments below regarding this. So this related relates to your current situation. Okay. Well, it's given us three. So you know what I'm going to do? I wasn't going to do the one, two, three, but let's do the one, two, three. Let's pick a card Pisces that you're meant to hear, know about regarding your situation. Maybe it's all three, but connect into it. Uh, on what you need to know. So let's go for number one and see if this is your card. Release and surrender. So this was under, this was with connecting to the emotions are running high. So here it's asking that we shower you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands, arms and heart to love and assistance. So what I feel this is basically saying here, when emotions are running high, why are they running high? Where are you trying to maybe control things? Where are you like needing to release things? I feel there's a part of like you're holding super tight on something and you're being asked to kind of let it go and allow spirit to do its thing. I think there's a bit of resistant energy or there has been resistant energy. And this is what you're kind of potentially navigating right now and learning how much power there is and freedom there is when you kind of can let it go and trust in spirit that they got you two your hard work is paying off acceptance i mean this just goes hand in hand see yourself and others through the eyes of the angels unconditional love it's saying with unconditional love and acceptance 
In this way, you inspire and lift everyone to their highest potential. This is huge, Pisces, because I feel this is what's happening. What is your hard work is paying off. Someone is seeing you in a new light, but you're also seeing yourself in a new light. And I think you're leveling up here. And the more you do it, you're going to start seeing things just work out smoother. I love this. Number three, reward yourself. You've been given a lot of, uh, giving a lot of yourself lately, and it's time for you to receive. Make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. This balance of giving and receiving is essential to keep your energy, mood, and motivation at a consistently high level. And this is great. What well, these work together so well, even if you didn't matter which one you chose, all of them are relevant here with the transformation and wherever you're moving to or moving what you're moving through. There is something here that I feel is there's like a significant understanding about yourself and about a connection. And I think, yeah, I just feel there's a, there's a powerful lesson here that maybe you're uncovering about yourself and the way that you also show up and how to be more supportive in a situation for you, but also remembering your worth through this process. And I feel like there's something that you need to release some, and a part of releasing and surrendering is accepting a situation for what it is, but taking care of yourself. And I feel like as you figure these out and work through this Pisces, you're showing up in such a strong energy that whatever's kind of broken down that may have come to an end, there's a potential here to like infuse new life, but along with infusing new life, more importantly, you're doing it for you. And the more you're doing it for you, you start attracting in all these opportunities and you might even decide and make your own choices or a different choice based on this new energy that you're jumping into. But I see this slipping into concern of someone's intentions or questioning what someone had once done, if they're still doing it. There's something here about some past energy that you keep slipping into and you're going to have to work on this. This is not just an overnight thing. Working on release and surrendering, you might have to do that every single day to kind of let go of all the intense emotions that you're feeling. Okay. And then you're getting into like, let it go, let it go. Let people be, just do your thing. Pisces. Again, I think you're going to have to be working with yourself a lot. This is not just a set and forget or try once thing. This is going to take time and energy, but it's going to pay off in the long term for you as you work through this. And you're going to start seeing yourself become more abundant, the, the right gateways, the decisions, the support, because the King of Swords too can be a very supportive energy in getting the guidance that you need to balance whatever you need to balance out, to 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 navigate this and heal some situation. Because I feel that's what you're manifesting is you want to manifest a situation here that gets you back to your happy place. Whether it's in this connection, whether this is a new thing, whether this is just a catalyst for some other opportunity to show up, but there is something new showing up on a few different levels. Um, and especially too, when we see this page of water, so whether this is a rekindling energy or whether this is a new energy coming on in, there's something here that's moving forward, but there's still going to be some, I think a little bit of depth with the feelings that go on that you're going to have to work through, but it's going to put you in such a strong place and, I feel this is really good for you, even though sometimes it can be difficult internally. This is really good for you because you're truly expanding Pisces and really getting to the place that you want to go. But there's something that you need to work out within yourself that's going to help strengthen the next chapter in your life, whether it's with this connection or a new one. Love you dearly, Pisces. You're amazing. Have a fabulous weekend and we'll connect soon. Bye now.